All right, in this video, I have a first person shooter character controller, so I'll just briefly show it. So there you can see him smoothly climbing down the stairs, bouncing off the walls, like so. And he'll also climb the stairs smoothly. And I support gravity, so if I go down, I'll fall down the hole. I also support jumping. So essentially it's just a first person shooter controller like you'd play on the PC. Now one thing, the way I get the smooth uh, stair climbing, if you notice, um, it seems to lag when I stop. And what I'm doing is I notice that the character controller is going up too many units in Y in one frame. So what I do is I, I linearly interpolate from um, the starting coordinate to the end coordinate and that's how you get a smooth transition and you don't get the jarring when you're climbing the the stairs. So I'll just show that again. He's climbing and if I let go, you can see that the camera is still operating. And that's again because I'm literally interpolating and I'm saying, I know the positions over here, but we're not going to jump to it. I'm just going to slowly linearly interpolate to the final position. And that's how I get the smooth stair climbing. Another way you could have done it, I guess, is uh, you could pass the buck and have an artist create sort of a little wedge between the stairs. And you could call it a, just a collision navigation wedge. So that would eliminate the stair climbing and you just climb up a slope. And you could set a collision mass for the for that particular collision wedge so that it doesn't get displayed. It would only be used for navigation. So that's another way of solving it. It's probably a better way of solving it than what I do because I lag in the Y coordinate when you're, when you're climbing the stairs. I'll show it again. See, it's okay. And once I let go, see, it's still animating. I mean, maybe that doesn't bother people, but a better way to fix it would be to um, have the artist just put better geometry. And let me see if I can show it running and jumping. Nope. I'll try that again. Yeah, there. It's easier to do this on the phone than the simulator, but um, I can also run and jump. So let me try that one more time. So well, that was good enough. So that's what I have to show. I've got the first person shooter controller. It's very robust and it works pretty well. So that's what I have for now. And I'll post up another video when I have something else done. Thanks and bye.